Hi, uh, once again, uh, welcome to a new problem. This time we're still dealing with forces and energy. Uh, there's always a relationship involving forces and energy. Remember, uh, uh, work done. Work done is a form of energy, which is force times displacement. So we have a case where we have a car that's traveling uh, in a specific direction, precisely 240 degrees counterclockwise from the x direction that means it's traveling um, in the southwest this is north south uh, east and west so there's an angle of 60 degrees right there between uh, west and south that's not a big deal for now uh, we know that the car itself happens to have a mass of 380 kilograms um, and the distance it travels in this direction is 48 meters in that direction, southwest direction, at that angle. Um, well, given the force in terms of vectors, the force vector is negative 68.0 newtons, uh, I hat plus 36.0 newtons, uh, J hat. That's the force that's pushing the car in the southwest direction, 240 degrees uh, from the x direction. So that would the displacement uh, is given in terms of i and j. Um, uh, the displacement is just given in terms of meters, so 48 meters. But we can change that in terms of i and j uh, by saying this is uh, 48.0 meters times cosine of 240.0 degrees I had. Uh, so we're doing a transformation where we change the displacement also in terms of vectors because remember the forces in terms of vectors also. Uh, so we want to maintain a consistent convention. So sine of 240.0 uh, degrees uh, J hat. That gives us a displacement of negative 28.5 meters i hat uh plus or rather minus not plus minus minus um this is this is now going to be minus uh, j hat uh, 49.36 meters uh, j hat so in the next page we're going to compute the work done by the force in pushing the curve uh, or in moving the car in in the in the direction in the southwest direction 240 degrees counterclockwise from the x-axis from the positive x-axis so then work um, done by force uh, w happens to be f with the symbol for vector on top of it and uh, s for the displacement vector so the force is negative uh, 68.0 newtons i hat uh, plus uh, 36.0 newtons uh, j hat uh, times negative that's the displacement in terms of vectors we got in the previous page as you can recall uh, i hat uh, minus 49.36 meters uh, J hat. So we're multiplying those two. Negative uh, 68.0 newtons times negative 28.5. Um, we need to go back a little bit. Some something happened. Uh, in terms of our numbers. In terms of our numbers. Uh, Cosine, we want to cross check if we got this this numbers right. So, you know, we have 48 times cosine of 240, and that gave us negative 24. So, we want to be super precise negative 24. Uh, that's the displacement in the i direction. So, that happens to be negative 24. Um, 
0.0 meters I hat um, and then the other one was uh, 48 times sine of 240 and that gives us negative 41 point so this would be a minus this is just going to be a minus negative uh, 41.57 meters uh, j hat okay so when we go back to the other page uh, we need to change these numbers to uh, conform with the results we had initially you know the forces were negative 68 newtons and 36 um, so this one these values right here are going to change you have to change them to make sure they line up with our results from the previous page so this one happened to be uh, just to make sure negative 24 meters in the I hat minus um, 41.57 meters J hat so this is 28 this is going to change to 24 meters. So we have to change that. This is 24 meters. Um, and then plus 36.0 newtons uh, times negative 41.57 meters. So our final answer becomes, we have to put those two together, 68 times 24 that gives us 1632 joules. Remember it's positive because this one is negative and that's negative. And then 36 times uh, 41.57, that's negative 1496.52. Uh, when we subtract those two together, we get 100, 100 and 35.48 joules so once again thank you very much i hope you enjoyed the video uh, if you have any comments feel free to uh, respond or uh, send send them my way uh, we had a force pushing a car in the direction the x direction of 200 positive x direction of 240 uh, degrees at a distance of 48 we had to change the displacement into a vector by multiplying by 48 and the unit vectors um, and so that gives us a negative 24 meters in the i negative 41.57 meters uh, uh, in the j um, product force and displacement that gave us the work done by the force uh, a net force of 100 a net energy of 135.48 joules okay thanks bye